All right, y'all, what are we gonna be talking about today? We're gonna be talking about another pawn shop find. This is pawn shop find number eight, right? And I have a lot more than this, but this one is the most recent. Um, it had been a while since I stopped by my local pawn shops. And yesterday I was like, you know what? It's been a couple weeks. Let me go by there and see what they got. And hopefully they got something good, right? So I, uh, I stopped in there and I looked at the amps first because that's right as you walk in, at least at the, the big pawn shop that I go to. And they actually had quite a bit of stuff out there. I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, some things that I'm going to probably be going back and checking out. Hopefully they're still there. Uh, but something else caught my eye. And I absolutely, you know, at first glance, I was like, no way. So without further ado, let's talk about it. So first thing I saw, let me see if I can, oh, you already saw it there. But uh, first thing I saw was the top of this. And, you know, based on the top, I had incorrectly assumed this was a Gibson Les Paul Smartwood. You know, those were from the late 90s to the early 2000s. So I incorrectly assumed that based on the top, just because you don't see tops like this. And I had no idea what this guitar even was, right? So you can see the wood's got some grain. That's all mahogany. That looks almost quarter sawn, at least some of it there, you know. Uh, I don't remember what wood the, the, the top is. It looks like it could be ash or potentially maple, but it's a good looking top. Got a carved top, you know, mahogany body, mahogany neck. Uh, at first glance, this seems a lot better quality than my 2005 SG that I had. I'll, uh, I'll have to give it a nice, uh, I have to restring it, you know, intonate it and do all that kind of stuff. But this is a Gibson Les Paul 2005 Raw Power. And these ones, from what I can find, came with the EMG pickups. Uh, one thread that I read said that the ones with the EMGs might have been a Guitar Center exclusive and they could be as exclusive as maybe only 50 of them that came with these. If you guys have any info, please uh, reply down in the comments below, because uh, I'm I'm having a heck of a time finding a ton of information. I'll probably just write Gibson and see what they say about it. Uh, but initial impressions, I dig it. It has, uh, you know, they call it raw power because there's almost no finish on this thing. I don't know if they use nitro, uh, but it's like a very smooth satin type finish, which I really like that. Um, but you can tell... Because uh, if you, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but like in the grains uh, of the wood, you can still see some of the grains. So the grains weren't even filled. So it's supposed to be much more uh, powerful um, as a result, right? Uh, I don't really believe in the hype. Although, you know, guitars that have that really thick poly finish, they seem to be a little bit less, or I guess lifeless kind of feeling. They're not very loud um, acoustically. Sorry, I wasn't playing with the pick, but just trying to get an idea. It doesn't seem like dramatically louder, maybe a little bit louder than some of my other guitars. Um, but, you know, I I'm not sure if I'll stick with it because I bought it as, uh, as I thought it was a smart wood guitar. It is a very nice guitar, so I'll obviously have to spend some time with it. Um, and I thought maybe they had changed the tuners, but apparently the Grovers are the ones that came on these. So it's basically a Les Paul standard with a raw finish. This thing is heavy. I'm going to say probably pushing 10 pounds. Uh, people talk about neck dive on the uh, on the SGs, but look at this. <laughs> Body dive if you're sitting down with these, you know, so you got to play it like it's a flying V or something. Um, you know, but I got a pretty good deal on it, so I'm, I'm not too sad about it either way. Uh, because actually, I don't even own a Les Paul other than this one. This is my first actual Gibson Les Paul, period. You know, and I've been playing guitar for uh, more than 30 years at this point, so that's kind of cool. I do have Les Paul styles that are that are built from a local uh, master luthier that are very nice. He was nice enough to make them in 25 and a half inch scale, which I prefer. Uh, but uh, as I found, and mo probably most of you know, that if you put on beefier strings, that'll uh, that'll eliminate a lot of the tuning woes that you get from the 24 and three quarter. I find, you know, uh, a light, a light top heavy bottom set of 10s or just in a set of 11s at standard E tuning works really well on these. I'd hate to see what you'd have to go for down tuning, you know, probably some 13s or whatever. Um, but yeah, 
I mean, it, it's a good looking guitar. We shall see how it plays. Uh, it, it definitely has some uh, fret buzzing and things like that, but it also looks like the it probably hasn't been set up in quite a while. So I'm gonna put you know my favorite setup on it, which I like a little bit higher action because you get more sustaining notes, polish the heck out of the frets, you know, set the intonation, all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, you never know what you're gonna find at pawn shops, guys. You know, this to me, you know, probably one of the cooler things I've found in a little while. Uh, I guess we'll see how it plays, and then <laughs> then I'll, I'll circle back to you. I'll probably report down in the comments. But as far as the woods go, got really good looking woods. It's got nice binding all the way around, uh, stuff like that. You know, these are going for probably about a little more than double what I paid. At least that's asking price. I I didn't look in to see what they're actually selling for. You know, but go check your pawn shops out. Go check your local mom and pop music shops out. You never know what you're going to find there. You could go in there and find something cool that, you know, at least is somewhat similar to what you've been looking for. I've been uh, kind of looking for a smart wood since the 90s. The right one hasn't popped up for the right price yet, but it might if I found this raw power, I'm sure. It's in the cards. I keep looking at that grain in the camera there because it, it, it's a good looking grain. But yeah, again, though, if you like my content, please like, comment, share and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Leave some comments down below. Love having conversations. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one.